Come on, start 
listing out the things and the attributes of him. He's the reason why we're here this morning. Fix your gaze, fix your eyes. Jesus, you are Lord, you are King, you alone.
can't feel it, you're working. You never stop working, God. Oh, even when I can't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. Do you believe that this morning? Do you believe that he never stops working? Even when we can't feel it, even when we can't see it, even when we don't know what's gonna happen, even when we can't see the future. Do you believe that he is your healer, that he is your provider, that he will come through because he said he will? Yes. 
Jesus, your word says, let God be true and let every man be a liar. And it continues to say, whose report will we believe? We will believe the report of the Lord. Whose report do we believe? We will believe the report. Of Whose report do we believe this morning? We will believe the report of the Lord. We will believe the report of the Lord. We will believe what the Lord has said over our situation, what Jesus has spoken over our circumstance. And God, we thank you so much that we can partner with your truth <laughs> and believe and trust in you and not in ourselves, not in even what the doctors say, not in, in what our bank account says, not in anything else but you, Jesus. We trust in you, Jesus. And I just feel um, this morning, if there's something that you are believing for, just to, to you could say it out of your breath or just think about it and just put your hands out and almost like imagine that it's in your hands like this. Something that you're, you're really believing for, maybe something that you're struggling to believe for, something that you're trying to trust God in, but it's really hard. And I feel like that we're off, we need to offer that up to him this morning and lay it down and say, God, I choose to believe you. I choose to trust you this morning. I choose to wait and believe that you're gonna come through for me. So God, we bring before you our circumstance. We bring before you the worry, any pain, any fear, any anxiety, any questions. God, anything, anything of the unknown that we're not sure of how, you know, our future is gonna turn out or even the next few months. I feel like some of you have some questions about even the next couple of weeks and few months, you wanting God to come through. Well, God, we believe today, <laughs> you are a way maker, you are a miracle worker, you are a promise keeper. <laughs> and so God, we choose to believe you and what you've said. We believe you, we trust you with this. We trust you with this. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on their on wings of eagles. They shall walk and not grow weary. They shall run and not faint. They will renew their strength. Renew our strength this morning, God. Wow. Wow. Just ask him. morning do you believe this morning all right said sorry there's nothing more we can do well it wasn't through I've never seen a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow but 
But I've got a promise I can hold In the middle of the struggle God, if you said it, you'll perform it May not be how I want it to But here's what I'll do I'm going to wait on you I'm going to wait on you I chased it, you're good Trust in your promise, I'm gonna wait on you, I'm gonna wait on you, oh, I've tasted your goodness, I trust in your promise, I'm gonna wait, oh. I know you've ordered every step Yeah, you're the author There's no predicting what is next But you hold the future And all the questions They come second To the one who I know is true Jesus, you've always been true I'm gonna wait on you
Do you hear that word? Do you hear the word? This has gone through it all. It's strength, 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 strength. Come on, strength, come on, strength. Speak it, speak it. Prophetically speak it to yourself. Let the Spirit of God enable you to speak strength. Come on, strength, strength, strength. You can say it. You can declare it. Strength. Come on, declare it to the heavens. Strength. You don't need a mic. Come on, strength. Let the weak say, I am strong, the Bible says. Come on. Come on, I am strong. We want to hear you. We want to hear you. We want to hear you. Strength. I love it. Strength, strength. I started receiving the word strength and strong on the way over this morning. Come on, come on. That's what the Lord wants to prophetically impart to you and, and to me this morning. Strength. And, 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 and it says in Daniel, I can't give you the actual address right now, but the people who love their God shall be strong and do exploits. That's a prophetic word to us this morning from him. I declare you shall be strong and shall do exploits in my name, that I might be known, that I might be seen, that I might be heard, that I might be touched by my people in whom I have placed my very life, my resurrection life, my spirit within you gives you strength that you didn't even know you had. What a surprise, what a surprise, what a surprise. Oh my goodness, yeah. And it's to be strong. And the Bible says to be strong in the Lord, not in yourself. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Let the weak say, I am strong. So let's hear that shouted from the housetop. I am strong in the Lord. I am strong in the Lord. Whoa. You are. Even those of you who feel that there's hardly anything left in you to stand, you need to begin to say. And, and the Holy Spirit is really beckoning us this morning to begin to say at home, in your kitchen, in the car, wherever you're heading, I am strong in the Lord and the power of your might, God. The power of your might, God. I'm strong in the Lord. And I'm braided tightly together with you. And in that place of waiting, that means being braided tightly together with him. I will have his strength to mount up with wings as eagles and run and not be weary and, and walk and not faint. How many of you believe that? Come on, make a declaration. Come on, listen, whoa, whoa. And I know he's pouring out healing in this place this morning. I've thought about that several times this week. Healing is our portion. Healing is the children's bread. Are you ready to eat bread this morning? Healing is the children's bread. And I sense such strength was needed. And, and, and I'm just re reminded about those dry bones. And, you, and, and I think there's healing. I believe that there's healing this morning in our bones, in my bone. And healing in our bones. Everything that has to do with our bones. Wow, yeah. So if any of you, I, 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 I can't see you because of the lights. I can't see past the first row. But I know that there are people in this room that are having issues with their bones. It's funny, it's not, your, it's not necessarily your joints, but it's something with your bones. And so in Jesus' name, I speak resurrection life into your bones, into the structure of your bones, the very marrow of your bones, where, where there's calcium, where there's deposits in your bones, where there's extra stuff in your bones that you don't need. I speak restoration, health and life to your bones, to that whole structure that holds your body up. I speak life to you. Let the weak say, I am strong. So you need to speak to your leg or your rib or your backbone or your wrist, or your fingers, and say, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might, in Jesus' name. And one other, one other thing that I got down, uh, when I was worshiping down there, listen, I know because of circumstances, 
we feel separated in the room. But you know, that's not true. That might only be true with what we see with our eyes. But the Lord reminded me to tell you, <laughs> there's no distance in the spirit. There's no separation in the spirit. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead lives in you and you and you and you and you and you. There's no separation in the spirit. That's why you can, wow. That's why you can look at one another around the room and, and, and there's an impartation of blessing. There's an impartation of blessing huh, around this room today from one another. So, so I, why, why don't you by faith look around the room yourself and reach out with a word of faith to whoever is near you and, 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 and declare, I declare the strength of the Lord not only into your bones, but into every cell of your body in Jesus' name. Yes. Oh, wow. Strength. And you know, when we were singing that song, Glorious, Glorious, He is glorious. Come on. You are glorious, Lord. Make a declaration. Don't be shy. Make a declaration into your mask. <laughs> He's glorious. You're glorious, Lord. Wow. And, and see yourself carrying. Come on. See yourself. It's not presumptuous. See yourself. Whoa, behind me. <laughs> see yourself carrying. See, see yourself carrying His strength when you leave this place. When you go to that restaurant, when you go to the job, when you go to your neighbors, you go for your walk, you're walking your dog, you are, oh, you are carriers of his glory and his strength. You are. Oh my goodness. Lord, though we don't think we see it, we know you're working. Though we don't think we hear it, we, we know you're speaking. And so I thank you that you are the glorious one amongst us and there's no distance between us. No law of man can keep us separated in the spirit. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. What do you got? Am I coming? I know. I can't. I'm, I'm moving. <laughs> no, I, uh, there is a very hot spot up here. <laughs> Is your mic? Are you Lord God Almighty? Ooh. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. You are holy. Holy. Are you Lord God Almighty? Worthy is the Lamb. Oh, my. 